What up? This is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Netflix new documentary series, Headspace Guide to Sleep. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you would like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. This is simple. If you like the previous installment, Headspace Guide to Meditation, you are going to enjoy Headspace Guide to Sleep because it's done by the same creative talents and they both have the same format. Only this time, it focuses more on helping you get better sleep. I know, it sounds like an intro to a pillow or a mattress commercial, <laughs> but I'm going to be honest with you. I am grateful for this show. I have a bad case of insomnia. I really do. And as Al Pacino from that one Christopher Nolan movie would tell you, insomnia is no fun. You'd be tossing and turning and your mind just keeps racing. But that's what I experience regularly. So this show is like a gift from heaven for me. And the solutions that these seven episodes offer absolutely work. I guarantee it. Headspace Guide to Sleep is the second of the three series with Headspace and Vox Media Studios, including Headspace Guide to Meditation, which is now available to stream on Netflix. In Headspace Guide to Sleep, learn about sleep, your relationship with it, and how to build healthy habits for a more restful night. Over the course of seven animated episodes, Teacher Eve Louis Prieto reveals the science behind a healthy night's sleep and provides tips on how to get the best sleep you've ever had. Each 15-minute episode explores a different aspect of our relationship with sleep, such as insomnia, stress, our phones, and even sleeping pills followed by a guided wind-down designed to help you on your journey to a better sleep. The topics that each of these episodes brings up is spot on. Not only the causes of the problem, but also the problem with our current method. One of the things that I usually do is play on YouTube a loop video of sounds of gentle rain or gentle waves and put that cell phone next to my pillow and let it play all night. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. It's more of a crapshoot, really. But back to Headspace Guide to Sleep. Each episode runs about 15 to 18 minutes tops. The first 10 minutes is the educational stuff. And then the rest is here's what you need to do. Straightforward and cuts right to the chase. The animation is wild and meta and hypnotic in its way of capturing or illustrating Eve's narration. Every phrase and every word, beat by beat. And the music is so calming, like a massage parlor music. And on top of that, Eve's soothing voice has that lullaby effect. I'm telling you, listening to Eve and the music alone might do the trick. I think a lot of people would watch this and wonder, why do the episodes have a one-size-fits-all solution? It always ends with breathing exercises and meditation. To that I say, well, if that's the natural way of getting us to sleep, then why the hell not? The episodes also suggest some various things you can do during the day, but it always comes down to regaining that rhythm again so that our body and our mind can understand when it's time to sleep. I would highly recommend this documentary series. I promise you, it works wonders. This is an incredibly informative show that can only bring benefit to those who watch it.